This demonstration will show the initial configuration of an ONTAP 9 AFF system. This will include provisioning for both storage for virtual infrastructure and enterprise applications. With AFF, in less than 10 minutes, you're set up and ready with storage provision. This rapid setup is possible when an AFF system is ordered in a SAN or NAS optimized configuration. An optimized configuration comes from the factory ready for the customer to start consuming storage. All of the storage and networking configurations, including the licenses, are configured before it ships. After the system is powered on, the administrator simply logs into OnCommand System Manager to begin provisioning storage. The first time an administrator logs into a SAN or NAS optimized AFF, a Create Storage wizard will be displayed. Here the administrator can select from Oracle, SQL, or other based on the solution requirements. In this demonstration, we'll be creating multiple LUNs for a Linux application. We will be naming the LUNs, providing the size of the LUN, entering an initiator group name, selecting the operating system, and providing the WWPNs of the initiators. Then we will click on Create. In seconds, the volumes, LUNs, and initiator groups will be created, all following NetApp and Application Vendor's best practices for each application type. Next, we will look at Application and Infrastructure Provisioning Templates. These templates prompt the users for all the necessary information and adhere to the NetApp and Application Vendor's best practices. We will go into System Manager, display the SVMs available, and select the default SVM. We will go into the Application Provisioning, in here, you'll see that we have multiple application and infrastructure templates. There are templates for NFS for a single Oracle database, NFS for Oracle Rack, SAN for a single Oracle database, SAN for Oracle Rack, SMB for SQL Server, notice that it does license and configuration checks, SAN for SQL Server, NAS for Virtual Server Infrastructure, NAS for VDI, SAN for Virtual Server Infrastructure, and finally, SAN for VDI. Now we will look at provisioning NAS storage for VMware infrastructure. We will first select the hypervisor, provide a data store prefix, select the number of data stores, Provide a data store size. Select the volume export configuration. And click provision storage. Then a dialog box will appear showing success or failure and will provide the details of what was provisioned. This information can then be sent to the VMware administrator to finalize the provisioning within vSphere. Now we will look at provisioning SAN storage for VDI. In this demonstration, will provision storage for 2000 VMware Horizon Virtual Desktops. We will first select the hypervisor. We'll select the desktop persistence. We'll provide a data store prefix. We'll select the number of desktops. Provide the average desktop size. Select the initiator group or create a new initiator group. and click Provision Storage. Then a dialog box will appear, showing success or failure, and will provide the details of what was provisioned. This information can then be sent to the VMware Administrator to complete the provisioning task. For more information, please consult these resources. Thank you very much for watching this demonstration.